pregnant. <laughs> I've got to find a GP. Like, I always... I have one close to home. She's really good. I'm not sure if... Um, you guys know, but... Um, Early last year, Mark had two operations to remove a tumour that he found in his forearm. He had MPNST cancer, malignant peripheral nerve sheath tumour. It was about two centimetres in size. It got removed, and thank God we haven't heard anything since. It's all been positive. It hasn't come back. Knock on wood. Knock on wood. Hello? Yeah. Hey. Cool. Yeah, yeah. Um, we're going to book our scan in. The Friday one? Yeah. What? Is four okay? Yeah, that's better. So that way, you know, like try to book it as late in the day as possible. Alright, I'll ring them now. Thank you. Okay, thanks, mate. Bye. Uh, as I was saying, so he has MPNST sarcoma cancer. Um, I guess he technically does not have it anymore, and we're hoping that it never, ever, 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 ever comes back. <laughs> we had a pretty shit year last year. So... 2018 was not good. He has scans every three months to make sure it's uh, not returned. It's classified as a an aggressive cancer. So to go a year cancer free is amazing. Um, we don't like we kind of forget about it, but then when he's due for his, just before his three month scan um, we kind of freak out a little bit and then once the scan's over we're relaxed and we can forget about it again for another three months uh, but it's been good, <laughs> it's all good and if it never comes back it'll be even better <laughs> so I guess we can just put that behind us and be really excited and start planning for a baby so back to the doctor. The doctor that found his cancer, that found um, found his tumour not to be a fatty lump but to be cancer, she was fantastic. She was great. She caught onto it straight away because some doctors, you know, you go to them and they go, oh, it's just a fatty lump, it's all good. And then, you know, you're stuck with it and it can, you don't even want to think about what it could have turned into. Um, but, yeah, so we're extremely grateful to that doctor for what she did. Um, as good as she is, I don't like going there because I wait an hour. I have waited about an hour and a half and I finally got in to see her and I had maybe a list of four things to talk about and she's like, hi, can we just make this quick because I've got a lot of people, you know, that I have to see and I get it, you're busy. If your staff can't book you proper appointments, like why, why do you keep running behind? It's just, it's not cool. You can't tell a patient, can you hurry up? Because <laughs> I've got things to talk about. And I've been here for an hour and a half waiting to see you. And now you're going to rush me. So I think I need to, I mean, pregnancy is a pretty important thing, I'd say. Um, I need to find myself a new GP. Hopefully close to home, so... Yeah. Um, I just wanted to book in my seven-week scan. Uh, yeah. I'll just We've got availability Wednesday, Thursday or Friday afternoon. For Friday the 1st of March. We don't do morning because of the IVF um, patients. Okay, yep. We do all of you guys later in the afternoon. So okay. the earliest I've got is, um, I've got 1 o'clock. The late, the last yeah. one is 3 o'clock. So 3 p.m. Um, okay, well, I'll book that one in. I can book it, book it yep. in and if it's not convenient or whatever, um, you can just Back. Yeah, that's if great. you're coming through IVF, they'll probably give it to us. Yeah, so the yeah, yeah because I'm doing yeah. through primary, yeah. so they said that you'd yeah. have the referral. Yep, yeah, no problem. Perfect. And so I'll give you instructions. You can take as normal. Yep. Yeah. 
Thanks for that. Thank you. Bye. Bye.